Let's Queer Up South Florida and Florida. Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida and Mark Kent to be recognized at Harvey Milk Diversity Honors March 9th. The upcoming Harvey Milk Foundation will hold the Diversity Honors Gala at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel on March 9th. It promises to be a star-studded affair, celebrating outstanding individuals who have made significant contributions to LGBTQ plus rights and visibility. Esteemed honorees include the Emmy, Tony, and Grammy Award-winning artist Billy Porter, renowned LGBTQ plus activist and Grammy winner Belinda Carlisle, and talented singer-songwriter Spencer Battiest, just to name a few. These three luminaries will be bestowed with the prestigious Harvey Milk Medal in recognition of their remarkable achievements. In addition, the Diversity Honors Ceremony will also shine a spotlight on some local legends, including my gal pal Tatiana Williams and the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida. Founded in 2010, the chorus has left an indelible mark on the region by bringing live music to prestigious venues, engaging with the community, and spearheading volunteer initiatives. Led by artistic director, the fabulous Gabe Salazar, the chorus comprises over 180 talented singers and ranks among one of the largest LGBTQ plus choruses in the world. Guys, that's major. Its impact extends beyond the realm of music, serving as a beacon of hope and inclusivity within the LGBTQ plus community. Through their performance and advocacy efforts, they have transcended social barriers, empowered individuals, and advocated for equality. We are excited and honored that the executive director of the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida, Mark Kent, is with us today as a Queer News Tonight anchor. Mark, congratulations. Thank you. We are so, mm -hmm. so happy that you are here. Um, and we're going to dive in just a little bit more. You heard the news that the chorus was going to be honored by the Harvey Milk Foundation at the Diversity Honors. Where were you? What was your first <laughs> thought? Um, how was that feeling translated into words? You know, it, it was really uh, surprising. Uh, it's not that often an arts organization is pulled to the forefront because they're seen as being socially conscious, but that's exactly what we are as an institution. Uh, to be recognized at Diversity Honors is just such uh, a nice feather in our cap and a nice affirmation of the importance of what we do. So I was thrilled. I mean, I screamed like a 12-year-old girl. How was the? Did how did the? Um, how did you tell the members of the chorus? The uh, well, I, I I tried to hold it until the next rehearsal, but it was too long. So I. It, it went out on social media real quick. Yeah. And they were over the moon. Just at, I mean, they, they were tumbling over themselves with comments and enthusiasm. Oh. I would have loved to see that reaction video oh. right there. It would like the Wicked cast watching yeah. the new trailer. <laughs> you know? It really, it really was, was uh, fantastic. And, you know, they work so hard. They put in eight to 10 hours a week, wow. every week. Wow preparing and studying music because they believe the concerts make a difference and they in do. the future. I believe they do. Yeah, they I do. really do. And I've heard that back from our audiences. So uh, they're invested in building a better future for all people and they're going to put in the work to do it. Listen, a few of them have come to my karaoke night before at the former Hamburger Mary's <laughs> Now the Well and they sing their booties off. Uh, yes. So I believe it. Um, for maybe the two and a half people listening who don't know anything about the Gay Man's Chorus of South Florida, um, tell Tell us about the course and tell us what you do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, as you was mentioned earlier, we were founded in 2010. Uh, we reach over 25,000 people each year with uh, our music, and it's it's instilled with messages of love and inclusion and acceptance. Plus, you see 180. I was going to say gay men, but we're not just gay men. We have a heterosexual guy who sings with us. We even have two women who sing with us. Uh, but when you see this group of people on stage that represents a unified community, it's inspiring. And we do three major concerts each year, and uh, we work hard to serve the community. Uh, and in fact, just today at lunch, we were recognized by 211 Broward as the oh. nonprofit of the year in the arts category. Congratulations. So, Congratulations. We're, we're thrilled Breaking with that. news in real Breaking time. Breaking news. Really. Well, <laughs> just well like you said, you do concerts. You do a uh, special concert during June Pride Month as well. Um, the music can be so impactful for social justice, right? Tell us about the role of the Gay Man's Chorus of South Florida and that role that it serves uh, for queer rights. You know, so much of what we do tells the stories of the LGBT community. And the thing about music is it's personal and it's emotional. And so we have a way of telling the traditions and the stories, the struggles and the triumphs of LGBTQ plus people everywhere, yeah. where, but doing it through song. Our concert is June is a pride now, then and forever. And it really looks at intergenerational issues and more than what's different about 
the various generations, it's what's similar. Because right now, more than mm -hmm. any time, we've all got to be working together and mm -hmm. feel, feeling unified. And what is the role um, of the chorus, like what does it play in the sense of a cultural presence here for the LGBTQ plus community? You know, you you uh, mentioned that you are covering music from, you know, back uh, maybe a few a decade ago to Barbie, you know, so staying topical um, and 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 changing with the times per se. How important is that to you and, and, and the role that the chorus plays? Well, you know, it's incredibly important because there is such a diversity of ages and backgrounds yeah. that make up the LGBTQ plus community uh, and doing what we can to represent as many of the people in our community as possible by focusing on what we have in common, which is being a member of this community. Uh, it's really, really important in what we do. Um, so it's and plus, you know, we are a major cultural organization. Major. So when you look at the arts tapestry of South Florida, it's important that LGBTQ plus people are represented. Absolutely. And, you know, it's um, I don't want to get sad or anything, <laughs> but I do think I know even if you want to admit it or not, but I believe that music saves, you know, and I believe that there are probably members of the chorus who had experienced really dark times in their life and they turn to the community that you've created with the gay man's chorus. And uh, I like to ask guests this all the time, but what advice would you maybe give to uh, someone younger right now who is maybe not blessed with the same outlet as some of the members of the gay man's chorus here in South Florida? What uh, would you say to them to maybe feel a little bit more hope in a sense where they don't feel much uh, your people are out there mm. you know i think the the hopelessness comes from a sense of of, of isolation mm -hmm. and a feeling where you don't connect and belong within your family within your community within your neighborhood but your your people are out there your your family your second family uh your adopted family is out there waiting for you so you just got to stay strong enough to see it through to where you can connect with them and your life will take off in ways you've never imagined. So white knuckle it through, it's tough, uh, but your people are waiting for you. Mm. Oh, just got the good goosebumps again. Count is two. <laughs> We're gonna end on a happy note. Mark, what are you most looking forward to at the Diversity Honors Awards? You know, it's the coming together of the community that is such a big event uh, and it's so high profile. And again, there's such a wide range of everybody there. Yeah. And I think whenever we can see ourselves as one community, all the letters kind of coming together into a solid mass, uh, it creates a sense of power that I just think is incredible. Well, it has been an honor learning more about the Gay Men's Chorus of South Florida. I could talk to you for the next five hours. <laughs> We're going to wrap it up, but you do not want to miss this amazing event. Uh, Debbie Holiday, I'm coming for you at that after party, honey. <laughs> for more information about the Harvey Milk Foundation Diversity Honors Gala being held at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel on March 9th, please visit diversityhonors.org.